Question. My husband is a Hindu. He takes me camping in the wilderness for three weeks. There will be no single church around. I take the Eucharist two times a week and now I am confused as I will not be able to do it. Maybe I should change my prayer rule. How should I come to the next Eucharist? I cannot ask him to change his plans either as he did not accept my faith at once. There are objective circumstances in life. You love your husband and for his sake you go to some place where there are no churches. This is not for your whole life. This is only for three weeks. Compensate with the Jesus prayer. I have recently told the sisters that God is the purest spirit. He is not put into shape, which is why any shape does not limit his perfection. However, as long as he created us within this world, for our sake, he enters a shape in order to become comprehensible and tangible for us. In addition, for us, he diminishes and humbles himself and enters the shape of bread and wine, the body and the blood. He could have enlightened us inconspicuously and without using any images, in the way the Holy Fathers, who reached contemplative perfection, saw him. But, as far as this phenomenon is rare in our contemporary sinful world, and the world has become stout and cruel, transforming more and more of its spiritual state into a material one, this world has trouble experiencing God and building a relationship with Him. Only saints, St. Gregory Palamas and St. Simeon the New Theologian, for example, could experience God in this way, in His shapeless, uncreated light. That is why the Lord takes up the shape of body and blood, or bread and wine, so that we who are shaped could understand Him. The word mystery means something we cannot fathom. We cannot imagine how it works that all of a sudden the purest spirit merges into matter and becomes the body and blood of Christ to the full extent. This is a mystery which we experience and accept for a fact, but we do not and will never conceive its nature and the way it works. A very similar mystery is a mystery of the silent noetic prayer, when God does not ally with matter, but with a name, the Word instead. This issue is comprehensible by the fathers who have been practicing the Jesus prayer. At a certain moment, the name of God comes out of the limits of the Word and enters the person of Christ. It happens when people collect the Jesus prayer in their hearts. In this case, their hearts fulfill with Christ himself rather than with his name. Every Jesus prayer becomes Christ himself. Jesus, 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 Jesus. If you objectively have no opportunity for taking the divine body and blood for three weeks, you may try to fill your heart with the name of God, to which Christ himself is related spiritually, mystically, and inconceivably. Jesus, Jesus, but you need to have the experience in order to understand what I am saying, because somebody may even judge me now. Saint Mary of Egypt lived for so many years in the desert, she took the Eucharist on the eve of her death and at the end of her feet. What did she nourish herself on then? She had the divinity, who came into the shape of the Word, and she collected a lot of it in her heart.